Come on over and let's stand right over here. All right, come on in. Come on in. We're going to stand. Oh, my. we got to stand. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that's cute. You're painting your nails? That's cute. I've never seen that before. Huh? Who did paint it? Your mom has the whole story. She's now painting your nails for you. That's good. <laughs> All right. It's a different story. Okay, I understand. Well, listen. What is sitting in the middle of the, the auditorium here this morning? What is this over here? It's a desk. Uh huh. Anybody know what that's all about? It has some stuff on it. It does. Anybody know what that's for? Well, that's. It is about Jesus. You see, when Jesus came down to earth, he lived just like you, boys, and he grew up, the boy and a girl. And then when he got big, he, of course, he went to work, worked in his dad's carpentry shop. And then when he reached adulthood, he began to serve God. And he did a good job. And he helped uh, clean up the world and, and teach people a lot of wonderful things. And all people say he did a great job teaching. But then he came to the point to where he said that he was God. And that people needed to clean up their act. You know what I think of when... When Jesus says we need to clean up our act, I think about what we do around the church. You know, we, uh, we take and we get ready for church on Sunday and we, we get our vacuum cleaner out and we vacuum up everything and get everything clean. You know, this is what we're supposed to do when we come to the Lord's Supper. We're supposed to clean up our lives. We're supposed to pray and ask God to show us our sin so that we can get it up. And get it out of our life and begin to... We need to get our lives clean. How do we get our lives clean? We get our lives clean, not by running a... No, not a vacuum cleaner. We get our lives clean by praying, reading our Bible, and getting our life to where like Jesus' life lived. He didn't have any sin in His life. And that's the reason when He looked at us and saw all the sin in our life... He wanted us to be like Him. We need to clean up our life. And as we clean up our life, we still will not get good enough. So Jesus did something for us. And what did Jesus do? He died. He died on the cross for our sins. And when He did that, He paid for our sins so that even though we still have sin in our life, we're supposed to keep it clean. Best that we can. But even though we still have sin in our life, Jesus paid for that sin. And that's why we celebrate this morning all that are Christians take and take of the Lord's Supper. Now, there are two things in the Lord's Supper. What do they look like? One is a little cracker. What does that represent? What does that remind us of? The body of Jesus. The juice is red, so it reminds us of the blood that was shed for us to pay for our sin. That's right. Very good. Well, that's what we're supposed to do. And as we come to the Lord's Supper, each month on the first Sunday of the month, we take and we celebrate the Lord's Supper. And it's a way of reminding ourselves that we ought to live our lives constantly trying to improve our life, but realizing that, that even though we take and get sin in our life, if we can't get it all out, Jesus paid for that sin, and we ought to thank Him. And that's why we come and celebrate the Lord's Supper today. All right? Well, thank you all for helping me now. Let's gather around the vacuum cleaner here. The vacuum cleaner reminds us... Hi, vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner reminds us that we ought to do right and live a good life and be good. Dear Father, I thank You for these boys and girls, and I ask Your blessings on them. Help them to understand, as the adults understand too, that we're to do our best. We're to live the best life we can. Christians, we're to show other people that, that we need to live without sin in our life. But Lord, we realize we still sin. We thank you for dying for us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. That's a hammerhead. Yeah, that's a, that's a shark. Hammerhead shark. It gets up all the dirt. All right. Thank you. You can go into class.